Hey guys, what if I told you that there is a massive ball of rare metals worth around, check this out, 10 thousand quadrillion dollars. You'd want a piece of that, right? I mean, you go grab your metal detector right now. But the only catch is, well, this thing is floating in space and it's an asteroid. And this huge metallic asteroid was found on March 17th, 1852 by an Italian astronomer named Annabel de Gasparis. He named it after the Greek mythological god Psyche, who represents the spirit. It's one of the largest asteroids in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and is classified as metallic M-class asteroid. Researchers believe 16 Psyche is the core of an ancient planet in the extremely rare state of being completely exposed with no harsh atmosphere and pleading exploration. This provides a unique opportunity to examine the inside of a planet to hopefully learn how ones such as ours are formed. But here's where it gets really interesting. Based on remote analysis, researchers have determined it contains iron, nickel, gold, platinum, copper, and other precious metals, making this a huge 156 mile wide untapped gold mine. Just waiting to be harvested. And by calculating the mass and current metal prices, Dr. Elkins Tenton estimates 16 Psyche's iron alone to be worth 10,000 quadrillion dollars. You know how much a quadrillion is? That's a million billion dollars and 10,000 of that. I mean, you could literally buy Earth and that's just the iron part of that floating asteroid. But this is not surprising considering that it is the core of a planet. And here's the thing, the implications of adding this type of wealth into Earth's commodity market could actually be really catastrophic because then the prices of these metals may crash to almost zero and it would disrupt mining, manufacturing and governmental industries. But with that said, it probably will not stop people from jumping on the 10,000 quadrillion jackpot. Dr. Elkins Tenton said, even if we could grab a big metal piece and drag it back here, what would you do? Could you kind of sit on it and hide it and control the global resource? Kind of like diamonds are controlled corporately and protect your market? What if you decided that you were going to bring it back and you were just going to solve the metal resource problems of humankind for all time? This is wild speculation, obviously. And here's the thing, we are actually going there because both these educational and economical reasons have convinced NASA to launch a spaceship to, to claim it. And the difficulties of mining the ore in space and the transportation back and forth to Earth may just be well worth it. And NASA originally planned to send a ship there by 2030, but have recently figured out a more efficient way to get there four years earlier by 2026. And they're really excited about it. I would too. The new trajectory avoids an accelerating orbit swing around the Earth and slingshotting near the sun. They said, we challenged the mission design team to explore if an earlier launch date could provide a more efficient trajectory to the asteroid psyche and they came through in a big way. This will enable us to fulfill our science objectives sooner and at a reduced cost. According to NASA, the spacecraft's payload will mainly contain multispectral imagers and a gamma ray and a neutron spectrometer. These will be used to study the protoplanet's origins and verify theories of how planets are born and die. And psyche will be the first metal planet ever explored by humans. And according to Lindy Elkins Tanton, the lead scientist on the NASA mission and the director of Arizona State University, School of Earth and Space Exploration, 16 Psyche is the only known object of its kind in the solar system, and this is the only way humans will ever visit a core. We learn about inner space by visiting outer space. I figure we're either going to go see something that's really improbable and unique, or something that is completely astonishing. And the thing is, there is a possibility that this may become a resource-rich base for manufacturing all kinds of equipment, and could potentially be used as a stepping stone for space exploration. And if NASA finds water there, it could increase the chances of growing a sustainable living population there as well. Now the thing is, as we reach the age of space exploration and reusable rockets, so the cost of going into space is dramatically decreasing, we are going to see a lot more of this where even mining companies could be involved because there are a lot of floating rocks out there that are just rich in rare metals. So don't be surprised one day if the show The Deadliest Catch becomes, I don't know, the deadliest asteroid mining. But yeah, 10,000 quadrillion dollars. If you had that, I mean, that's just unimaginable. I think that would crash bank computers. But if you had that, what would you do? I think my first order of things would just be, I don't know, just, just like I mentioned, by Earth. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching and let me know what you would do with $10,000 quadrillion in the comments below. Also, guys, if you love science-y, informational, knowledge videos, then you gotta check out this channel called The Friendly Brain. It's full of awesome topics presented in a really fun manner and if you wanna check out one of their videos, I have it for you right here or in the description box below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you later.